All right, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday and we're gonna do an upper body focused class today. So you're gonna need a variety of dumbbells if you have them, heavier ones and lighter ones, and also a mat. If you don't have a variety of dumbbells, just use what you've got. You're also welcome to grab soup cans or laundry jugs or whatever works. So our warm up today is gonna to be a six minute AMRAP. I'm gonna set the timer for six minutes and we're gonna go through the series of exercises as many times as you can in that six minutes. Move at your own pace. You're welcome to move more quickly or more slowly depending on how your body's feeling today. So our warm up today is our friend the squat to crunch. So you're gonna sit down nice and low, stand up nice and tall, nice twist, elbow to knee. So you're gonna do 10 of those total. Then we're going to pick up a moderate dumbbell, nothing too heavy, between your two hands. And we're going to do a rainbow chop. So you're going to start at one knee and bring your weight up over your head in a rainbow shape across your body. So you're going to do 10 of those total. So each direction is one rep. Then you're going to come down to the ground. We're going to do 10 push-ups. So you can do your push-ups in whatever way, shape, or form you need to do. And then we're gonna come into a plank and do 10 knee drives. So you're gonna bring your knee up and across with force and you do 10 of those total, okay? So we're gonna do six minutes of work. You're gonna move through those exercises as many times as you can. And we're gonna start with the cross, cross squat, the squat to crunch, 10 total. In three, two, one, here we go. So you're gonna count your own reps. You're doing 10 of these, so that's 10 total, five per side. If you wanna add a jump, you're welcome to do that too. Once you've done 10 of those, you'll pick up your moderate dumbbell, 10 rainbow chops. So sit down nice and low, big reach. Brave rainbow across your body. Reach, reach, reach. 10 of these total. Good, pull your belly button in across the top. Once you've done 10 of those, you'll come down to the floor. 10 push-ups from the knee or the toe. Try and get your chest all the way to the floor. Excellent. Once you're done your 10 push-ups, you'll come into a plank. 10 knee drives. Awesome. And then when you're all done, you'll come up and start from the top. So squat to crunch for 10. Rainbow chop for 10, push up for 10, plank knee drives for 10. Good, sit down nice and low. Well, there's a lady outside and she's wearing a cape. I love Nelson. <laughs> All right, 10 squat to crunch. Then pick up your weight, 10 rainbow chop. Oof. Sit down nice and low. Big reach up. Use your abs. Good. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Once you've done your 10 rainbow chops, come down to the ground. 10 push ups. You can do the same push-ups you did in the first round, or you can do a different variation. It's your call. Just make sure your chest touches the floor. Good, pull your belly button in. You can be on your knees or your toes. Once you've done your 10 push-ups, come into that plank. Bring your knees up across your body with some force. Ten total. Awesome. 
Um, we just passed the halfway point through our warm up. So feel free to pick up the intensity at any time. Remember, you can add a jump to the squat crouch if you like. Sit down nice and low, stand up nice and tall into that glute. Nice rotation through the torso. 10 squat to crunch. 10 rainbow chop. Good, relax your neck as you bring those weights up across the top of your body. Pull your belly button in. Nice. Once you've done your 10 rainbow chops, moving into your 10 push-ups. Hands can be narrow or wide. You can be on your knees or your toes. Crunch up your chest to the floor on every rep. Get that full range of motion. Once you've done your push-ups, come into that plank. Drive that knee up. Beautiful. Nice work, everyone. We've got just over a minute to go. Let's see if we can get in one more round. 10 squat to crunch. Awesome work. Stand up nice and tall. 10 rainbow chops. Big reach. Good to have you back, Megan and Jocelyn. So I was telling the other ladies, since we're not really doing our gym workouts together with the Zoom anymore, we're kind of doing our own thing now. So if you have any feedback, requests, let us know. Well, let me know. 10 push-ups.
and five. All right. So you don't have to remember all that. I'll remind you. All you need to know is that we're going to spend about a minute at each exercise, and there'll be a little beep in between. We are going to start with the row. So pick up your heavy dumbbells. We're going to start eight on one side, eight on the other, eight both arms. Are you ready? In three, two, here we go. So standing up nice and tall, hinging forward. Eight, slow and controlled, single arm rows. Elbow goes straight back. Abs are engaged. Slow and controlled, you've got lots of time. I even timed out some of the exercises last night because I wanted to make sure we'd have enough time to get all the reps in. So don't worry, you've got lots of time. Eight on one side, eight on the other, then eight together. Good work. Beautiful. All right, we've got about 10 seconds. Whew. We are going to move into those overhead presses next. So you can use the same weight so you can pick up different weights. All right, we're on in three, two, one. Here we go. So eight on one side. Relax your neck. Good. If you want a challenge from this, you can leave your one arm straight up in the air the whole time while your other arm's working. So eight on one side, eight on the other. You've got lots of time, ladies. Slow and controlled, and then eight both arms. Knees are relaxed, glutes are engaged, abs are engaged. Relax your neck. So depending on how heavy a weight you have, these can be exceptionally challenging or not so bad. All right, finish up. Biceps are next. So you're going to use either those weights or lighter ones. You decide to bring your elbows to your side. Your arms are at 90. Here we go. We go 90 to top. So don't curl your wrists. Your wrists stay neutral. Shoulders are back. So we're going to do eight from middle to top. Eight from middle to top. Then eight from the bottom just to the middle. So there's a nice little pump here. Wrists are neutral. So your biceps are curling the weight up, not your wrists. Imagine someone's pulling down on your hands. And then eight all the way down, all the way up. Keep those elbows tight to your side. Try not to rock. Whew. Awesome. Finish it up. Nice work. All right, we're going to move into the shoulder sequence next. So we're going to do eight side raises, then eight front raises, then eight combos. Here we go. So eight straight up to the side. Relax your neck. So remember the shoulders are a push muscle group. So imagine someone's pushing down on your hands. You're pushing up against them. Good. Once you've done eight to the side, you're going to go eight to the front. Relax your neck. Try not to be Frankenstein. So what I mean is you're not using your traps. Your shoulder blades are back and down. You're pushing those hands up out to the side. Once you're done eight of those, the combo looks like this. Front, side, front, down. You're going to do eight of those. Side, front, down. Front, side, front, down. Front, side, front, down. We've got six seconds. Nice work. All right, pick up your heavy weights. We're going to come down to the ground. 
floor press. So you can be in a bridge position if you like. You're also welcome to hold your non-working arm up while your other arm works. So eight reps. Good. Eight on one side, eight on the other. Awesome. Once you've done eight on each side, you'll do eight with both arms, slow and controlled. Beautiful work. Rest when you're done. You have about 10 seconds here. We're going to do those leg lifts. If you want, you can hold the dumbbell up between your hands or not. It's your call. All right. I'm going to put my hands under my bum, palms down to support my back. I'm going to lift both my legs up. Here we go. One leg stays up. The other leg lowers. If this hurts your back, you can bend your knees. Use your abs. Pull your belly button in, push your back into the mat. Eight on one side, eight on the other. Your head can be relaxed on the floor or shoulders and head elevated. Once you've done eight on one side, eight on the other, you're going to do eight with both legs. You have about 20 seconds. Beautiful. Nice work. All right, we've got a few seconds rest before we start round two. So, here's the deal, especially with upper body. A lot of people sell themselves short and use very light weights. I want you to pick up the heaviest weights you can and use them until you can't do any more reps. So this round, we're doing seven of everything. And I want you to slow everything down a little bit so you have way more time under tension. So slower negative, slower concentric motion. We're going to start with those rows. Here we go. Hinge forward, slow and controlled. So seven on one side. Think about the muscles that are working. It's the muscles between your shoulder blades, pulling that weight up. Awesome. Seven on the other side. Make sure your abs are engaged. And seven with both arms. Pull those arms back. Keep that time under tension. So slow and controlled. Using the heaviest weights you can with good form. Nice. All right, we got a little bit of rest. Whew. So if you find you're speeding through these, see if you can slow it down a little bit. All right, we're going to come into that overhead press. So once again, picking up the heaviest weights you can to use with good form. You're welcome to hold your non-working arm up. Here we go. Seven on one, seven on the other. Relax your neck. Check your abs. Nice. I'm finding it extra challenging, keeping that working arm in flexion. Check your abs. Unlock your knees. Oof. Seven on one side, seven on the other. I thought I was done and then I forgot I had to do seven with both. Ooh. Oof. Good work, everyone. <sighs> nice. Three, two, one. Finish it off. We're going to come into our biceps. So remember, wrists are neutral. Elbows locked to your side. Here we go. Nine knee to top. 
So imagine you're holding a tray. You don't want to curl that tray of drinks into your body. You want to keep it nice and strong, nice and level. Imagine someone pulling down on your hands. Good, seven from the bottom to the middle. Take a little pause here, flex. You got it. Once you've done those seven, all the way down, all the way up. Check your posture, shoulders back, elbows never leave your side. Imagine this crazy glue, taking your elbows to your body. We got five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, we got our shoulder sequence next. So front, or sorry, side, then front, then combo. Here we go. Seven to the side. Push those weights up. So imagine someone's pushing down against your hands. Seven to the front. Relax your neck, roll your shoulder blades back. Don't be Frankenstein. Push those weights up. Once you're done those, seven combos. Front, side, front, down. Front, side, front, down. Relax your neck. We're going for seven. We got about 10 seconds left. Woo. Oh, geez. Woo. Hope you got all the reps in. Come on down to the floor. Come into that bridge if you like. You're welcome to hold that one arm up. Seven on one side, seven on the other. Slow and control. Awesome work, everyone. Focus on your form, slow and controlled. Seven on one side, seven on the other, then seven both arms. Good work. Finish up those reps, you got about 15 seconds. Stay down on the ground. We're gonna do those leg lifts next. So remember you can hold the dumbbell or you can do it without a weight. I'm putting my hands under my bum for support for my back. Here we go, legs up. Keep one leg up, lower the other. Slow and controlled, feel the abs. Seven on one leg, seven on the other, seven on both. You got it. Pull the belly button in, push the back into the floor. Good, seven with both legs, you can do it. Remember, if it hurts your back, you can bend your knees. Awesome work. We've got about 10 seconds left. Finish up your reps. Grab a drink. All right. Nice work, everyone. All right, we're going to move on to round three. This time we're going to do six of everything, but we're going to do it together and we're going to slow it down. Yes? All right, you know what this means. It's torture time. All right, pick those weights up. You're going to hinge forward. Here we go. Up, down. Two. Three. Slow and control. Four. Five. Six. Other arm. One. Slowly lower. 
two, three. Pull the elbow back, pull the muscles together between the shoulder blades. Two, one. Here we go, both arms. Pull, pause, lower. Pull, pause, lower. Three, little pause. Four, check your abs. Five, six. Nice. All right. Take a breather. We have about 10 seconds. All right, ladies, we're gonna move into that shoulder press in three, two, here we go. So I'm gonna lift one arm up. Here we go. Six and lower. Five and lower. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. I'm lifting the other arm up and holding it there. Six and lower. Five. Four. Check your core. Three. Two. One. Both arms. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, Woo. nice work. All right, we're gonna come into our biceps. Pick up those weights, here we go. Elbows long to the side, starting at 90. Here we go, up to 90. Two, three, four, five, Six. Good. Bottom to middle. Up. Give a little squeeze. Two. Pause and squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Six. Here we go all the way up and all the way down. Up and down. Two. And down. Three. And down. Four, and down, five, six, beautiful. Relax the neck and the shoulders. We're going to move into our shoulder sequence. Here we go. Out to the side, six, and lower, five, and lower, four, push those arms out, three, Two, one, now to the front. Push and lower. Two, shoulders back and down. Three, four, five, six. All right, here comes the fun part. Front, side, front, down. Front, side, front, down, front, side, front, down. Two more, front, side, front, down, front, side, front, down. Nice work, all right, come to the floor. Come into that bridge if you like. Here we go, we're gonna push one arm up and hold it there. Here we go, other arm up and down, two, and down, three, four, five, six. Good, hold that arm up, other arm moves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Both arms, six, and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, press. We're going to do our lying leg lifts. So hands under your bum, or you can hold that dumbbell up. And two, one. Here we 
three, two, one. Other leg, six, five, four. Pull your belly button in, three, two, one. Now both legs, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo All right, grab a drink. We've got one more round. So same thing, we're going to work together. This time we're going to slow down a little bit more. So we're under tension that whole minute. So pick up the heaviest weights you can. We're going to start with our rows. Standing up nice and tall. Hinging forward. Here we go. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Last one. Up, two, down, two. Other arm. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Check your abs. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down. Last one. Up, two, down, two. Now both arms. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, three, down, two. Up, four, down, two. Up, five, last one. Nice work. All right, we're going to move into our shoulder press next. You're going to hold the one arm up. You betcha. Hold it up. Here we go. Up, two, down, two. 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 Last one. Up, two, down, two. Other arm. Down, two, up, two. 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 Last one. Down, two, up, two. Both arms. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Down and up. Woo! I didn't want to run out of time on those ones. Woo! All right, biceps are next. Pick up those weights. I'm going to go heavy on these. I'm going to go heavy. I'm going heavy. Here we go. Up and down. Two and down. Three. Four, wrists are neutral. Five. Let's hold here for a sec. Two, three. Here we go. Bottom to middle. Five. And down. Four. Three. Two. One. Here we go. All the way down, all the way up. One, two, 
three, four, five. We'll do the combo. Front, side, front, down. Front, side, front, down. So there's a tendency here to want to use the neck as you shift from front to side. Don't let your neck take over. Use your shoulders. Last one. Front, side, front, down. Beautiful. All right, ladies. We're almost there. Come on down to the ground. Come into that bridge position. You're going to push both weights up, both of them up. Here we go. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Last one. Down, two, up, two. Hold that one up. Here we go. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, three. Two more. Down, two, up, four. Last one. Down, two, up, five. Here we go. Both arms down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. Down and up. Last one. Woo! All right, line leg lift is our last exercise for strength. And then we're going to move into our conditioning. Here we go. Both legs up. Lower one. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Last one, up. Switch legs. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two more. Down, two, up, two. Last one, up, two. Both legs. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, two more. Down, two, up, two. Last one, just in time. Woo! All right, grab a drink. Okay. Nice work, everyone. How are you doing? Today is not as sweaty as yesterday, that's for sure, but still sweaty nonetheless. All right. We are going to move into conditioning. So conditioning, we're doing three rounds. The first round is five zero seconds of work and then 10 seconds rest. Then we're going to do 40, 20, 30, 30, and then we're done. So I do five exercises. I'll show them to you now. So the first one, you're going to take a heavy dumbbell and you're going to put it up over your head, holding it like this. So one hand over the other. And we're gonna mimic a slam ball. So we're gonna chop it down. So it's like a slam ball. It's not a swing, it's a chop. So chop it down, just like a slam ball, okay? So we're gonna do five zero seconds of that. Then we're gonna do a little combination movement. So you're gonna put your hands on your dumbbells, kick your feet out, jump your feet in, Make sure your posture looks like this, and roll. So out, in, check your posture, roll. Five, zero seconds. Then push press. Then you're gonna put one of your dumbbells on the ground, and you're gonna toe tap. You can do whatever you want with your arms. And then we're gonna do an open, closed jump squat. And then we rest. All right, so the first round, we're doing five zero seconds of everything. We're gonna start with that downward chop. So you're gonna pick up your heavy dumbbell, hold it one on top of the other like this. And we're gonna chop it down. Are you ready? I'm ready. We are on 
in three, two, here we go. So chop it down, imagine you're doing a slam ball. Sit into those hips, chop that weight down. Chop, chop, who is your last? So the movement comes from your lats, which are the big muscles under your armpits. Drop that weight down. 15 seconds. You got it. Five, four, three, two, rest. 10 second breather, we're doing the burpee kick out with the roll. So make sure your back is flat. Three, two, here we go. Out in, pause, row. Out in. Get in that low squatting position. Make sure your back is flat before you row. If this is hurting your lower back, you're welcome to push the dumbbells aside and just do regular burpees instead. Always pay attention to your lower back. Check your abs. Five, four, three, two. All right, push press is next. Woo! Those arms are strong. Let's use them. Two, one, here we go. Remember to use your whole body, little dip drive. Burn out those arms. You can do it. We're halfway through our interval. Woo. And migrating backwards. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Toe taps. You're going to put your dumbbell on your floor or something that's not going to move. You can tap your couch, whatever works. Here we go. You can run your arms. You can do jazz hands. You can do this, but move your arms. Toe tap. Light on your feet. Pump those arms. Woo! 20 seconds. Pick it up, pick it up. Five, 
Work a little bit harder. All right, ladies. We're gonna start with that downward chop. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. You wanna earn that rest. Work hard. Here we go, 40 seconds in three, two, here we go. Hold on to that weight, chop it down just like a slam ball. If you happen to have a slam ball at home, you're welcome to do that too. This is my makeshift version. Jocelyn, I don't know about you, but my glasses are sliding off my face. Well, working on your glasses is hard. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, lots of rest. Burpee kick out, row is next. Whew. If this hurts your back, just do a regular burpee instead. Super important that your back is flat before you row. We're on. In three, two, here we go. Check your back, check your posture before you row.
You got one more round. One more round. So that round is 30-30. So what that means is that you're gonna work way harder because you have just as much rest as work. So you wanna work super hard, push the envelope. It's only 30 seconds. All right, ladies. We can do this. It's only three minutes of work total, not even. So I want you to pick up your weight and I want you to crush it. We're gonna do those downward chops so hard. We're gonna chop all the wood in the world. We're gonna slam all the balls. It's all good. All right, so as hard and fast as you can with good form. Here it is, the final showdown. Three, two, one. Here we go, hard and fast with good form. Thirty seconds isn't that long. We're already halfway there. Push, push, push. You can do it. You are machines. You are strong and fit. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! All right. That was intense. <laughs> burpee rows are next. So remember, if this hurts your back. Just do a regular burpee instead. Always paying attention to your lower back in these complex movements. Same intensity. Focus in on it. Strong and fierce. All right, team machine, we're on in three, two, here we go. You can do it. Halfway. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, rest. Okay. Push press. See how many you can get done in this 30 second interval. See if you can get 30. Or close to it. Use your whole body, use your abs. Keep that intensity high, ladies. Let's finish strong. Finish proud. Here we go. In three, two, push, press. One, go. Keep it up, use your whole body. Two, one. I did 33. Woo! <laughs> All right, that was fun. Toe taps are next. You got this lady, strong lungs, strong hearts, strong legs. You can do it, keep that intensity up right to the end. Toe taps, arms are busy in three, two, here we go. 30 seconds. You got it. Pump those arms. Here comes the finish line. 10 seconds. Woo. My weight is rolling all over the place. I'm going so hard. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Last exercise. Woo. Let's do it. Open pose squats. You can stay low. You can jump or not jump, but I want you to give it your all. All you can. This is it. Last 30 seconds of work. All right, team machine, in three, two, one. Let's do it. Last 30 seconds. Go. Give it all you got. All you got. Hard and fast. 
Nice work, everyone.